Last week, Bishop uh, de Rocher was celebrating this televised daily mass, and at that mass he used one of my favorite quotes that I will repeat to you. It goes like this. God loves us not because we are good. God loves us because God is good. Speaking of goodness, it goes from all ages. Last spring, in one of my regular visits to our local school, there was a young man sitting in what I call the hot seat in the general office. His eyes were filled with tears, and I asked him what was wrong. He said, Father, I don't know what else to do. I am so bad. I'm so bad that sometimes I get into fights, many times I get into fights, and I spend more time in this office than I spend in the classroom. Then he asked me the question, do you think God loves me? Well, if he loves me, then why am I so bad? I assured him that somewhere inside of that body of his and in his soul, there was a lot of good to be shared. And he looked at me with his great big eyes and says, can you please find it? Tell me where it is so I can start using it, so I can spend more time enjoying life and being in the classroom than in the office. This young student reminds me that so often it's easier in our lives to frown than it is to smile. It's easier sometimes to complain about things than to give thanks for our blessings. Today, the church celebrates the memory of St. Teresa of Avila. History recounts that St. Teresa suffered greatly from many illnesses, but she never gave up her great love of Christ. She is one of the foremost writers on mental prayer, and her definition of silent prayer was used in the Catholic Catechism, and I quote part of it. Mental prayer, or oracion mental, is nothing else than a close sharing between friends. It means taking time frequently to be alone with him who we know loves us. My dear friends in Christ, when you experience times of pain, times of distress, you don't have to be alone. Call upon Jesus. Make him your best friend if you haven't already done so. Confide in him. He will never abandon you, no matter what you do. No matter what you have in your life, he'll also never give you more than you can cope with. You see, each one of us is very important to him, and he tells us so at the very end of today's gospel. And I quote the last sentence. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet... Not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. You are of more value than many sparrows. Each one of us is equally very special and important to the Lord. Trust in Him. And like St. Teresa, surrender to Him all of your anxieties, your pains, even doubts. He will help you. All you have to do is trust. This past summer, a young lady called me on the telephone. She said she wanted to thank me for what I had done for her son. I had no idea who she was or what she was talking about until she recounted the events of that day in the school office. She told me that her son arrived home that same day, and out of the blue, he said, Mom, I love you, but please don't get upset 
because today I learned to love God just a little bit more than you. Astonished, shocked, and surprised, the mother asked, why? And he said, because God gave me to you, and you as my beautiful mom, and you are to show me how to be a good person with God's help. The rest of it is history. My dear friends, may you have the courage to let the good in you shine and share that brightness with others, perhaps like my young friend, the student, or maybe even like St. Teresa. Let me close with a small prayer to our beloved St. Teresa, who loved, trusted, and was nourished by our Savior at the altar. God, you raised up St. Teresa by your Spirit so that she could manifest to the Church the way to perfection. Nourish us with the food of heaven and fire us with a desire for holiness. Amen. St. Teresa, pray for us. Please join me in prayer knowing that God loves us and that the God who loves us, we bring our petitions to him in the trust that he will answer according to his divine will. We pray for church leaders that the Holy Spirit guide them in the leadership we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord that we may grow in love for God, the God who first loved us. We pray to the Lord. Lord in thanksgiving to our loving God for the successful rescue of the miners in Chile, we pray to the Lord. For the intentions of our sponsors here and at home, the sponsors of the televised daily mass, especially the family from Red Deer, Alberta, Fred and Mona Pitt, as well as Kathy and David Fobler, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved who have gone home and all of those in need of our prayers, may they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Father, in our lives, may we always remember that you love us, not because we are good. You love us because you are good. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. The Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Free to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. King of heaven, accept the gifts we bring in your praise as you were pleased with the St. Teresa's offering of her life in your service. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Today we honor your saints who consecrated their lives to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. What love you show us as you recall humanity to its first innocence and invite us to taste on earth the gifts of the world to come. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever.